and today I'm going to show you a video of how to, well you guys, some of you if you ever go squid jigging you're probably wondering, um, how do I actually catch a squid? Well basically you need one of, well, and it doesn't have to be one of these exact lures, but you need a lure that is an actual squid jig, okay? So basically, you can just get, and you don't have to put a sinker. Basically, you can just have your main line and tie it onto a, this end of a squid jig and just drag it along. But a good way to do it is actually, uh, let's use this example here. So basically, you can have more than one. You can have as many as you want. Up the top, see the green one? That one floats because it has no sinker. Can you see on the, on the other one how it has a sinker on the bottom of it? That one floats. You can have two that float up the top, one down the bottom that sinks, and then you'll have your sinker. And then you're like, but how do I tie this up? Okay, guys, I will show you how to tie it up. Let me just get into photos. There we go. Okay, so it's a clip. Hello? So, um, what you'll need is, well, they're not very strong, but you can use whatever kind of line you want. Over 10 pound is recommended. But basically you need, so I've got three squid jigs here. I'm just gonna show you the jig that I showed you on Google. So basically don't use, if you want the two floats, don't use the ones with, see that, that sinker there? Don't use the ones with the sinkers if you want the two floating ones. Or you can have lots of squid jigs, like maybe about that far apart on the line, just jig down. And basically they're meant to look like a prawn. A squid comes up from the bottom and chomps there. Okay? And so basically what you need to do is, I'm just going to use 10 pound line even though it's probably a bit weak for squids. I'd use maybe 15 pound. So basically, what you'll need here is, so you've got your 10 pound line. First, you're gonna need the two that float. Yeah. So basically, if you get, well I'm gonna put the one on the bottom first. Okay guys, one on the bottom first for me. I recommend not doing that because well, you can, but like this, it's just. Well, it's probably actually easier because then you don't have all the other ones getting caught on everything. So basically, tie what? Or if you have any, well, basically ask someone who knows because I don't really know which not to use. But basically, you've got your squid jig on the bottom, right? And then you've got your two floating ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tie on, so you'll have your swivel and stuff connecting yourself to the main line, but you'll have one of these or a three-way swivel that's one here and one down here. I'm just gonna use one of this for an example, okay guys? So basically, this one may be a bit further down like in the water, because you see it's not very far down. Oh, actually, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good length. So basically what you do is you'll have it either a three-way swivel or one of these. Basically get two of them though, okay? Get two of them. So what you need to do, guys, is, hold on, let me just tie this knot to attach this. Okay. So with these, you go through the hole here and come out there, okay? So basically, how I just got a squiddy jig, ow, caught in my leg, ow, ow, ow. Sorry guys, let me just take that out. Ah, it's caught in my leg. Ow, ah, that hurts, ow. Ah, I'll grab a band-aid after the video, ow. Um, so basically, what you'll need is... So, with your two floats, don't have one with a sinker, just don't. And then tie this line onto here or on the third swivel on your three-way swivel so basically have a bit longer line than that guys because that's not very long let me just tie this knot
Hold on, guys. Let's try this. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna need something maybe a, a bit longer than that, because like that's just, just like a bit longer than that, okay? You're gonna get this and put the line, can you see that line, guys? So basically get the line through the eye of the hook onto the squid jig and then tie this on okay tie it on and you're gonna do well let me just do this wow that was a really easy knot okay then so your lines attached to this one ow i got caught again so you get your squid jig no it's a really long line so you get your squid jig and then you so basically your main lines attached to this red thing you get your squid jig and then you have one floating one. You have another floating one out to the side here, but because I don't have any other ones of these red thingies, I can't show you that today, guys. So basically, yeah, that's your squid jig. Okay? You can see my dad just in the background in the door frame there. Um, so basically what you're going to need is, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for a squid jig. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.